Hey guys, so it's November 7th and we are on our fourth Art Sound Off vlog. And to find out more information about Art Sound Off in general, please read the description below for links to other Art Sound Off resources. So today I want to start off by talking to you guys about what I'm working on as I've gotten several things done today already. And um, then I might transition into talking about deciding whether or not you should apply to produce panels for conventions and shows. So today I finally finished scripting chapter 7 of 7 Inch Kara, so I'm quite happy about that. And I've been doing a lot of talking about writing and writing process over on my Twitter. Um, some of that may have been lost to the sands of time, so I story storyfied that for my patrons in case you guys are interested in following along. And I also shared several resources with them as well to help those the ones who would like to make comics but have not yet started go ahead and get started. So I also storyfied a bunch of tweets and I also tweeted a whole lot about writing this morning. Let's see, what else did I do? I did three head studies from Human A and that's something that I am doing every day for the month of November um, since I have sort of fallen out of practice from regularly drawing from reference, I thought that would be a great thing to do. And you can find these, um, you can find the things that I am referencing, the faces that I'm referencing, at humana, h u m a n a e dot tumblr dot com, and you can find a link to that in the description at some point. Um, since I'm putting these art sound off logs out so quickly, sometimes I don't always have time to go through and add the links for everything, but it will be there eventually. And it is a reference that provides a Pantone color for the skin tones shown in the photos. Um, and it, it's also like a squared headshot. So that's a great way for you to practice your drawing to get a lot of different facial types in. They have all different ethnicities, a variety of age ranges. All, there's all sorts of stuff there. Um, it's a great resource and it doesn't, I think they have a Patreon, they might not though. Um, I need to find that out, right? If I'm using it as a resource, I need to support that, huh? Um, anyway, I will find that out for myself, but I highly recommend you guys check that out. So I did three facial resources from that, uh, face, fa faces from reference from that, womp. I am working on submitting to Cake, so I'm uploading PDFs of several of my comics to Google Drive so I can link them. I am, and I'm in the middle of that because one of the files is kind of big, so it's taking a little bit, a little while. It's the chapter six um, pages; those are at full size, and I combine them into a PDF. Um, let's see. I also wrote an email to one of my local coffee shops about possibly having some of my comic art and regular art out on display. So, if you are in the Nashville area, I will let you guys know if that is a thing that happens. Um, don't get your hopes up, though because I apply to a lot of things and I get very few of them. <laughs> that is, that's just part of being an artist though, is putting yourself out there a lot and then making peace with the rejection. But what comes more often than re rejection is just no response ever, which is rough because I don't want to be a nag, but you know, sometimes the squeaky wheel gets the oil. So let's see what else. Oh, I, um, I received word from Noka's Fest in New Orleans that they would be happy to have a panel from me. So hopefully I will be presenting a panel in a couple of weeks, isn't that crazy, at Noka's Fest, which is in New Orleans. So those of you who are from New Orleans or in the area, it's a two-day mini Comic Con at the New Orleans Public Library, the one on Loyola, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do an announcement on the blog, but I'm going to be there for sure, like I booked my table way in advance, I'm going to have comics galore, mini comics. I'm going to have copies of my brand new mini, 31 Days Under the Waves. I want to have um, coloring pages on, I'm probably going to do watercolor paper, but I may do marker paper. It really depends on what people would prefer to purchase. I'll have stickers, I'll have postcards for kiddos, I'll be talking comics and just having a good time. It's a two-day show, like I said, and hopefully I will have a panel either on inking or on watercolors. I know, right? That's why y'all watch my channel. Um, you can actually hang out with me in person and do some watercolory stuff or some inking stuff, depending, if you are at Nokus Fest. So you should go and you should bring some money and you should buy some comics and you should meet some cool people if you're in the area. Let's see, what else did I do? Got word on that. Apply to the coffee shop. Oh yeah, I am working on color correcting, as you can see in the background, some large format, 600 DPI, high res, well, I guess that's high resolution rather than large format, some high resolution 
watercolor traditional media scans that I'm gonna put up in my Gumroad. My backers get those for freezies. I like messing around with them. I like having them. If you are a digital artist who's looking to implement more traditional stuff in your life, they're really inexpensive. My paper packs are full of scans. So that might be something worth checking out. Let's see. I'm working on a fountain pen inking tutorial for this channel. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I guess that's all that I've done today. I had lunch, chased the cat around some. Uh, yeah. So anyway, we're this is a fine time to segue into whether or not you should teach panels or um, be apply to be on panels. I really like teaching. I'm really passionate about comics. I'm really passionate about drawing. These are not things that came naturally to me. These are things that I worked really, really hard. I had to study. I had to be very analytical. So I am actually very good at teaching drawing and comics because I understand where somebody who has no basis, no experience, no knowledge at all, I understand where they're coming from and I understand how I had to break things down and I am flexible in finding new ways to teach people techniques that other people might take for granted. I am not as good at teaching writing because writing is a thing that comes very naturally to me. I can hear the characters talking to me and telling me the story in my head. So that's just sort of something that I'm not very good about teaching. So I actually am trying to teach myself and I've taken loads of classes um, on writing over the years because I wanted to be a better writer. And comic writing is not at all the same as short prose or poetry writing. Very, very different. Um, and like I said, I talked about that a lot on my Twitter. I will probably talk about it again, but if you want to get caught up on the stuff I did talk about, like I said, you can be a, become a patron, or if you are a patron, that's storified for you. So um, I enjoy teaching comics, and I like getting other people psyched up about comics, and I like I like giving the gift of self-belief when I can, because um, I didn't always have people in my life who were very encouraging of the arts. Um, I'm an intelligent enough woman, I'm not going to brag or anything like that. And all of my teachers, my parents always pushed me to go into an academic career. They wanted me to be a lawyer or a veterinarian or just something not drawing, something not writing, something not comics. They always thought that was like the thing I could do on the side. And for me, it's, it, it isn't. Um, it's so time consuming for me and I do so many things and I put out, put out so much content. None of that would be possible if I was a vet or if I was a lawyer, if I had pursued those things that they had wanted me to pursue. So growing up, those opportunities were not presented to me at all. I was discouraged away from them. Um, not so much by my parents, but by well-meaning schools and teachers. Um, the school I went to, Hanville, sort of treated their honor students like a mill for intelligence. We were there to, to boost everybody else's grades, but they didn't put Extra, they didn't put non-academic extracurricular activities in front of us very often. We were discouraged from pursuing that sort of stuff. So when I was in high school, it just wasn't really available to me. And I lived in this tiny podunk town. So, I mean, I've talked to you guys about Hanville and Luling a billion times, I'm sorry. But I want those of you who are from tiny podunk towns, who don't have access to the nice things, don't have access to a nice art store, don't have access to people in person who can teach you things, I want you to know you're not alone, you're not stuck, there are ways out. But that's why I'm so passionate about doing panels. That's why I put so much time in how to be a con artist and I put so much time in his channel and I put so much time into this blog because I didn't have these things growing up and it was so much harder for me. And um, this is not like I walk, two, I walk both ways uphill in the snow every day. It's not like that. But I can make it easier for you. And that makes my struggle worthwhile, right? Like a struggle that you don't learn anything from and that you can't help others with is just a worthless struggle. So my phone is telling me that I'm running out of time, so I'm going to pause this.